The decisions in Naptej and Justice K. S. Puttaswamy, nine judges, recognize the right of queer couples to exercise the choice to enter into a union. This relationship is protected from external threat. Discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation will violate Article 15. M. Transgender persons in heterosexual relationships have the right to marry under existing law, including personal laws which regulate marriage. N. Intersex persons who identify as either male or female have the right to marry under existing law, including personal laws which regulate marriage. O. The state must enable the LGBTQ community to exercise its rights under the Constitution. Queer persons have the right to freedom from coercion from their natal families, agencies of the states, including the police and other persons. P. Unmarried couples, including queer couples, can jointly adopt a child. Regulation 5.3 of the Adoption Regulations is ultra vires the Juvenile Justice Act, Articles 14 and 15. Regulation 5.3 is read down to exclude the word marital. The reference to a couple in Regulation 5 includes both married and unmarried couples as well as queer couples. The principle in Regulation 5 to A that the consent of spouses in a marriage must be obtained if they wish to adopt a child together is equally applicable to unmarried couples who seek to jointly adopt a child. However, while framing regulations, the state may impose conditions which will subserve the best interest and welfare of the child in terms of the exposition in this judgment. Q. In view of the interpretation of Regulation 5.3 of, of the Adoption Regulations, the issue of whether the Kara circular disproportionately impacts the queer community no longer arises. R. The Union government, state governments, and governments of union territories shall not discriminate against the freedom of queer persons to enter into union with benefits under law. And S. We record the assurance of the Solicitor General that the union government will constitute a committee chaired by the Cabinet Secretary for the purpose of defining and elucidating the scope of the entitlements of queer couples who are in unions. The committee shall include experts with domain knowledge and experience in dealing with the social, psychological, and emotional needs of persons belonging to the queer community, as well as members of the queer community. The committee shall, before finalizing its decisions, conduct wide stakeholder consultation amongst persons belonging to the queer community, including persons belonging to marginalized groups, and with the governments of the states and union territories. The committee shall, in terms of the exposition in this judgment, consider the following. One, enabling partners in a queer relationship, A, to be treated as a part of the same family for the purposes of a ration card, and B, to have the facility of a joint bank account with the option to name the partner as a nominee in case of death. Two, in terms of the decision in Common Cause versus Union of India, as modified by Common Cause versus Union of India 2, medical practitioners have a duty to consult family or next of kin or next friend in the event of patients who are terminally ill and have not executed an advanced directive. Parties in a union may be considered family for this purpose. Three, jail visitation rights and the right to access the body of the deceased partner and arrange the last rights. And four, legal consequences such as succession rights, maintenance, financial benefits such as under the, Indian, Indian, under the Income Tax Act 1961, rights drawing from employment such as gratuity and family pension and insurance. The report of the committee chaired by the Cabinet Secretary shall be admin implemented at the administrative level by the Union Government and the governments of the states and the Union Territories. I have had the benefit of the <coughs> exhaustive and erudite judgment of Chief Justice Justice Chandichuk, which enumerates the prevalence of these relationships in history, the constitutional recognition of the rights to form union, in other words, what I categorize as civil unions, and the necessity of laying down guidelines to protect the non heterosexual unions. In a way, this is a step, for step forward from the decriminalization of private consensual sexual activities. Um, however, the subject matter itself persuades me to pen down a few words by broadly agreeing with my brother's judgment. I have dealt with the historical prevalence of non-heterosexual unions. Uh, I have said that uh, it is no longer res integra that the duty of a constitutional court is to uphold the rights enshrined in the constitution and not to be swayed by majoritarian tendency or popular perceptions. This court has always been guided by constitutional morality and not by social morality. Uh, pluralistic social fabrics has been integral part of the Indian culture. I have referred to some observations from the Rigveda and the Somdas Pratya Sarigra 
तो ये आप सीधी यहाँ पर तस्वीरें देख रहे हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट आज इस मामले को सुन रहा है समलैंगिक शादियों को कानूनी कानूनी मान्यता दिए जाने की मांग पर संविधान पीठ आज अपना फैसला जो है यहाँ पर सुना रहा है जिसमें अभी आप सीधी तस्वीरें यहाँ से देख रहे हैं